Hello, I'm Wolf Blitzer in Washington. Uh, we want to welcome our viewers in the United States and around the world. The president is now in San Juan, Puerto Rico, meeting with victims from Hurricane Maria. We expect him to be speaking shortly at the same time. Uh, I don't know if we can hear what he's saying right now. Let's listen in quickly, see if we can hear the president clearly uh, posing for some pictures with some of the victims from Hurricane Maria. We do expect the president to be speaking shortly, uh, and we will, of course, have live coverage. Chris Cuomo uh, is joining us. Uh, he's in Las Vegas right now, but he was in San Juan just, what, a day or so ago. Uh, Chris, uh, you, you saw firsthand what's going on in Puerto Rico right now. The president's there in San Juan. There's one picture in San Juan. It's another picture you get when you leave San Juan, and you go a half an hour or an hour outside of town. Uh, put, uh, Wolf, the analysis is 100% right by you. It's not even 30 minutes. We went 15 minutes to Toa Baja, this, just on the outskirts of San Juan by design, so that it was one of the closest areas to the nexus of relief and recovery. And two things are very obvious to anyone who's on the ground. One, the first responders there in big numbers, they're working very, very hard. Wolf, there's no question about that. We talked to um, different leadership positions. We talked to the people who are there just doing the work. Uh, and they needed some reassurance because they believed that they were um, being derided by the media. And we know where that comes from. The president has said that the media is going after first responders, which has, of course, never been true. So they are there. They're working in earnest. The second thing that is equally true, Wolf, is that the relief is not reaching the people the way it needs to. There may have been things delivered to all 78 municipalities, as the White House is putting out, but it's not getting to the people. Why? Two big reasons. One, communications, Wolf, they don't have them. So they don't even know where to go. We were watching this pickup truck with a huge speaker on the back of it announcing to people where to go to file a FEMA claim and to wish them well. Uh, the second reason is logistics dealing with a government that is inefficient there on the local level, uh, the typical chain of command that you've seen so many times play out with a state when the National Guard and the feds come in didn't happen that way there. And there are other logistical problems uh, that go from the physical uh, to the strategic. But the bottom line is we know they're there, they're working very hard, and it's not getting done the way it needs to get done, Wolf. Let's see if the president is going to say a few words right now. He's getting closer to uh, the camera crews uh, out in San Juan, Puerto Rico. Uh, he's, he's there, he's uh, already had a, one meeting with uh, the governor, among others, governor's there with him. Let's listen in, and see what he's saying. Professor of physics for so many years. They got wiped out on and top, huh? I lost uh, basically the whole roof and some of the walls too. Looks like the concrete holds up and the wood doesn't, right? Yep. The, wood. the wood is not holding up. Remember, 220 pounds per hour. Yeah, no, it's right. So were you in the house when it was happening? Yes, we were. And what did you think? Did you think that was the end or what did you think? Actually, we, we know the structure will hold. However, the winds we never expected. It was worse than uh, Worse than anything you've seen? Anything before. Yes. You were worth a baby. <laughs> but did you have fear that the house was going to go? Or the second floor, probably, not the house. And that sort of happened? Yes, yes. it happened. Yes. Incredible. Yeah. Good going. Thank you for You're being here. here. You're here. And well. the president's here with the administrator. FEMA is going to come uh, over here with the uh, efforts to rebuild, so we'll make it, we'll make it get back again. Yes. All right. Thank you. Hey, well, no, and your governor and your mayor have done really a fantastic job. Thank you. Yes, it is. Yeah. Thank you very much. Good luck with everything. Thank you. 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 Well, we just heard the president uh, of the United States uh, tell uh, a San Juan resident, uh, your governor and your mayor have done a really fantastic job. Uh, uh, I'm going to keep on listening in, see if we get what else we could hear 
uh, from the president. You see Melania, the first lady, Melania Trump, with the president uh, as they're walking around right now. Uh, what was interesting when he said uh, not just the governor, but the mayor of San Juan has done a fantastic job. She was at that meeting with the president that uh, started about an hour or so ago. Clearly, there was some tension between the president and the mayor, but maybe they've cleared that up. Uh, uh, Chris Cuomo, you were there. Uh, you had a chance, I, I assume, to meet with the mayor. I, uh, I spoke with her. Uh, she, is, uh, she was really upset at the comments from the acting Secretary of Homeland Security when uh, she suggested uh, the acting secretary this was a, a, a good story. Couple of broken windows and uh, the electricity. Uh, unfortunately, I think we've lost our connection with Chris, but we'll get back to him shortly. Uh, it, uh, are you there, Chris? Yes, I am, sir. I just lost the second half of that. Yeah, no, I was just wondering, uh, when you heard the president say the governor and the mayor have done a really fantastic job, I thought that was yeah. significant, because it looks like he and the mayor uh, of San Juan uh, seem to have improved their relationship. Well, look, I mean, that can only be a good thing, any way you want to measure it. Uh, any kind of political intrigue right now, any kind of negativity, is inherently counterproductive. Uh, why? Because it's not about them. They, they have to do their jobs and get the help to the people who need it on the ground. You are already dealing with a deficient situation in Puerto Rico. You already have a huge basis of need. That was in the best of days. So the political intrigue, while it, you know, it may have driven a lot of headlines, did nothing to benefit the people on the ground there. And the leadership that's needed is the hardest type of leadership, Wolf, which is banging out those logistics, figuring out how to deal with your fuel problems uh, and your roads. And we have tremendous men and women there in terms of phys uh, uh, you know, physical resources uh, to do this work. But it is slow going. That's not an irrational criticism. It's not fake. It's the truth. And anywhere that the president goes on the ground, he's going to see it firsthand. Again, we went 15 minutes outside that place by design, Wolf, because our feeling was certainly this place will have been flooded with the types of help it needs. And no, no pun intended there, obviously. But when we got there, there was not a single sign of any relief agency there other than a local church. We saw a local church there in their red uh, pennies. They were doing help. And, th and that's a beautiful thing. And charity is always needed in these situations. And recovery is always slow. I don't need to tell you that. You've covered it all over the world. But it is equally true that they didn't have the communications. They were only acting off rumors, even if there were stores of, um, uh, of things for them to get, essentials. They didn't know where. And they were getting scared about what time will bring for them. That's just the truth. Uh, and he will hear it and he will see it wherever he goes. It doesn't mean that there's not massive manpower there, that everybody's working, that they're getting things out, that they're doing things better day by day. It's all true, Wolf. So the leadership that's needed is that which drives the positive and the productive. And if the president sets that tone on the ground, great. If he puts to bed any kind of silly political opposition, even better. Yeah, it looks like he's trying to do that. Uh, he's trying to move on right now. And now he's uh, meeting with some residents uh, in Puerto Rico right now, hearing their stories. Uh, he's only going to spend, I think, about five or six hours on the ground in Puerto Rico before he heads back to Washington. Tomorrow he'll be heading out to where you are in Las Vegas to meet with survivors, family members from the uh, horrible, horrible massacre that occurred Sunday night. We're obviously going to have a lot more on that story coming up. Uh, but uh, I want to focus in on Puerto Rico right now because the President of the United States is there. David LaPan is with us. He's the press secretary for the Department of Homeland Security.